Oh boy! This is an opening I've been putting off for the longest. And the reason why is because I've grown this weird connection to buying uh, vintage packs, uh, whether they're heavy or not. Especially if they're light. I will not open them for light. But I've grown this like connection of wanting to have uh, sealed heavy packs because I don't know, just knowing the mystery of of there being a hollow inside just excites me that much more. On top of that, they become more valuable for like collectibles and stuff. But uh, a while back, I want to say like maybe two months ago now, I bought uh, a lot of packs over the course of many many weeks from like Troll Toad, eBay, uh, trusted sellers, and I have this like big batch of packs. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a while back. This is from that batch, and in today's menu we have. A heavy Aquapolis pack. I bought this from Troll and Toad. We got a heavy uh, Blastoise pack, which this should be a heavy. This came from, like, the weights to me are kind of weird in this one, but it came from a batch that had uh, a, a heavy from the same weight. So this is a maybe. I actually bought this from Gary uh, Gary uh, from, um, from Pawn Star, if you guys know him. He had the big Charizard collection. We also got uh, two Neo packs, two Neo Genesis, I should say. Well, we actually do have three. We have a Neo Destiny as well. We have two Neo packs. And we also got two Fossil packs. And also, finally, I'm gonna also open this. Uh, I have no idea what the weights are for this um, Japanese basic pack that I got as a gift from uh, ZNG Emporium when I bought my last batch of packs. So let's see what happens. Uh, should we start with this? Let's start with this because I'm just really unsure about this. Now, with the Japanese packs. Uh, for a base set, it was 50-50. If you bought a booster box, which gave you 60 packs at the time, uh, half of those were holographic, and the holo should be in the front. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's see if we can walk away with... Uh, oh, this is going to be annoying to open, isn't it? Actually, I think it has... No, it does not. No, it does not. This, all right, let's, this, this might be kind of annoying to open. Let's see what we can do here. Um, the holo should be in the front, so we'll just try to like you know move it and stuff. Oh god, this is gonna be annoying, isn't it? Yeah, this is gonna be annoying. I hate opening these packs. Hold on, let me. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Let me make sure I don't damage it. Obviously, the big card you want from here is going to be the original Charizard, 1996. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna put you. We'll sleeve you up, actually. We'll sleeve you up in case it is something fire. And we'll put you. To, it, I don't see a curve on it, so I think that might be an, a, a regular non hollow rare. And I hope not. I hope it's like something fire, but we'll see what happens. We got uh, energy removal, right? Switch. Uh, War Turtle is a fire one. We got Doduo, Magnemite, Jinx, Weedle, Rattata, and no Charmander. All right. Can we get a hit on the first pack? <laughs> we got a hollow Nine Tails. <laughs> it's not the fire you're looking for. How's the condition looking? Centering? Oh, the centering is, is butt cheeks on this. And this is not the no hollow error. If you guys remember, there is an error version of uh, the Japanese set that doesn't have a star or like an uncommon sign. If you have those, those are actually super valuable. Personally, I'm not a big fan of uh, of like error cards like that. I mean, this this specific ones that I'm like, I kind of want to get. Like, for example, the, the Dragonite, I feel like is an interesting one. But stuff like Rarity Missing, to me, is not that special. So honestly, if I had that, that would be one of those rare times where I would sell it and just use that money to buy something else that I want in my collection. All right, what are we doing next? Aquapolis, let's do, you know what, let's do Fossil. Now, this is an interesting batch. I bought these from Troll and Toad. I bought eight packs total, and of those eight, I believe six were really, really heavy. But the thing is, I know uh, Fossil has a weird weight sometimes where, even though it's super heavy, it's not. So we'll see what happens. Honestly, if this ends up being, Light, let's see. I think they both weigh the same. This ends up being light. I'm probably not going to open the second one. So, fingers crossed that this is actually uh, ends up being a holographic. Otherwise, man, keep an eye out for uh, for packs online. Because the thing is, is just because someone sells you a pack that's uh, quote unquote heavy does not mean it's holographic. Because I, I mean, you guys seen me open recently where I, I thought I had a super heavy Neo Genesis pack and ended up being a trainer card. So, weight does not always determine that it's going to be holographic. A lot of times the way it works is if you crack open a base box or uh, any booster box, not a base box, uh, the 12 heaviest packs are holographic. However, weights per box could vary. You know, you got stuff like how, the, how much glue there is in the pack or how much pack uh, uh, wrapper there actually is. And that could, that's what could actually affect how heavy a pack actually is. So that's why you don't really ever know. So just keep that in mind before buying heavy packs on eBay and stuff like that. Because a lot of times I had people sell me packs that are heavy and end up being light. And I had my friends go through the exact same process. So before you pay that premium, just try to know where that source came from. All right, so from this, we actually want to we want to get Dragonite. Dragonite, I think, is a good one. We got, uh, what else is in here? Gengar is one I would love to pull. 
No muck, please. Just no muck, Geodude. We got a uh, mysterious fossil. Krabby, and this is not the era Krabby. Energy search, the rare should be next. And we got a holographic Hitmonlee, one that I didn't really also want to pop up. I feel like it's always Hitmonlee when you watch these videos. It's always Hitmonlee. We got Kingler, Saint Slash, and Omastar. I think uh, one of the better uh, uncommons you want to get is going to be, um, what should I call it? What's his face? Golem. And I think I see a print line. Yeah, you see that big print line <laughs> going around his leg. Yeah, this is definitely looking like it's going to be a, a binder collection. Well, I might get it graded just because why not? You know, the back looks great. The back, back looks great. Okay. So then that confirms that this pack indeed is going to be holographic as well. <sighs> I have six of these. It's still crazy to me. I, like, this is why I like buying stuff from Toronto because they don't ever like try to upcharge their packs in regards to like if something is... um. Like they don't, they don't do weights basically. Again, not sponsored. I just, I'm just telling you where I get my packs from. Uh, and a lot of times, I just take the gamble of buying packs. And if they're not being light, whatever, they just go into my light collection. But if they're not being heavy, it's like, do I open these? What do I do? So it's def, it was definitely worth the gamble there. I'm glad I bought all of them. Like they randomly at one day had a bunch of like, they had like a huge vintage haul. I'm talking about, it was they had Neo Genesis, they had Aquapolis, they had. I believe, they, I believe they had like Expedition as well. It was wild. And I'm like, I need to get all of this. All right. Shelter, Zubats, Energy Surge, Kabuto. Please don't be Kabutops. Krabby, the non error version. Tentacool. Gambler, the hit should, should be next. Are you kidding me? Bro, come on. Oh my gosh. That's. What are the chances? Good news is, this one looks a lot better. This one looks a lot better. And in the back, we got Ghastly, Golem, and Graveler. I like how both Goler, Go Goler. Golem and Graveler are uh, both uncommons in this set. This Hitmonlee is way better, though. I don't see front lines on it. So, good news is, this one could potentially be a 10. So, fingers crossed there. We'll put you over here with your brother. There you go. I can't believe I pulled the same card. Oh, my gosh. I wonder if those these packs came from like the same box. All right, so now we have. Oh shoot! Let's do the base pack next. This should be heavy, like I said. It should be heavy. And the only reason why I say should be is because for so for long stem packs, the weights obviously they vary because you got this extra weight. But sometimes I've had packs weigh the same as they do without the uh, long crimps, um, the long stems, and it's like, shouldn't this be heavier? I have so many questions, but again, when I originally bought this batch from Gary, uh, the, I opened one to make sure, and it did have a hollow in it. So let's see what happens. Obviously, the big one you want out of this is going to be the Charizard. You know what? I don't even care if I butcher this pack, because uh, I'm not really a big fan of saving the long stem packs. So let's slowly get this out. All right, let's see what we got. We got Nidoran, Vulpix. I think the only thing I... I would love a Blastoise. I would love a Venusaur. Uh, actually, no, I already have a Venus as a PSA 10. I would love a Mewtwo. No, I have that as a PSA 10 as well. You know what? Let's just be real. We want Charizard. We want Charizard. Abra, Voltorb, Energy. Energy. Alakazam! I have this already as a PSA 10. So it was a hollow. Again, the weight for this is way lower than normal. And in the back, we got Arcanine, Jinx, and Porygon. Okay, not bad. The sending of this is actually beautiful. Yo, wait a minute. And I just got myself another PSA 10. Because this is... There's no way that this won't grade a 10. Alakazam, I feel like, is one of the more easier hollows to grade. Um, because the hollow pattern is just, like, so clean. Ooh. Yeah, look at his back, folks. Look at his back. That's a 10. That's absolutely a 10. Man, if only that could have been Charizard. We'll put you in front of uh, your other hollow brothers. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's save these two. You know what? I'm open this next. Because I'm not sure about this one. So the weight on this was in the heavy range. But I, it also had one of those like, you know those um, anti-theft strips? It had one of those on the back. And as you can see, like the, the card saver is sticking to it. So I don't know if that adds more weight to it. But the thing about, about Neo Destiny is even light packs could have hits. They could have the shining cards. I already have a PSA 10 shining Charizard, but I would love to pull one. That would be great, to, you know, on camera. So let's see what happens. So this is more of a maybe. And again, I also bought this from Troll and Toad a couple months ago. Oh my god, the Cyndaquil. 
Uh, as far as Hollows, I think I would love to pull Typhlosion, maybe. Uh, that's pr probably the top of my list. But really, the big hits you want to go for in, in, in Neo Destiny are the Shining cards. I might get that Cynical graded. Slugma, Ladyba, Remoraid. We got a very cute Growlithe. Unknown. Mantine. Then the hit should be next. Ooh. Is that the hit? That is the hit, Thought Machine. Again, the glue. And that shows you. The glue can definitely uh, actually add uh, add weight to it, so that, that sucks. Man, and that was a Tyranitar pack. I, I could have I could have kept that sealed. See, that's, this is why I always have that dilemma whether or not I want to open a pack or not. It's like, maybe. But I wasn't sure about this. Honestly, I was leaning more to this probably won't be uh, a, a heavy. And honestly, because it had the um, the sticky tag on the back, I, there's no reason to really like keep that in my collection. Because even if I were to get a greater one day, the sticky tag alone would probably have taking off a lot of points for it so that's why i didn't mind open this one maybe i can try to find one on ebay uh maybe a heavy one uh but for now it is what it is all right let's get to let's do aquapolis actually so this should be heavy i put the weights in the back just to make sure now when i bought this i did get two of these and the weights are actually pretty close to both but I'm only going to open the heaviest of the two. That way, I can keep the second one for my collection because this is a, this is really clean. I mean, it looks beautiful. Again, another troll and tour purchase. Let's see. This sounds like a troll and tour like sales video at this point. But again, you know, people always ask you where do I get my packs from, and there you go. That that's where. It's either from stuff like Troll and Toad. I also like uh, going to the card world. I also like Collector's Cash. Uh, although I haven't really bought stuff from Collector's Cash in a while. Um, but the other main source of packs I always get mine from are probably from a. Uh, just direct sellers like if someone i know is doing a box break on like instagram i i'll reach out like yeah let me get one or two or ten <laughs> larvitar oddish goldine eevee the rare should be coming up here in a second hop hip <laughs> quagsire no it was not a heavy it was not a heavy ah oh, that hurts that hurts well now i know now i know so wait what was the rare was the rare the rare was, uh, Quagsire was the reverse, and then the regular rare was the darkness energy. Wow, that's interesting. This was, normally the weight for Aquapolis is way heavier than that. Or is, is that's, that's around a heavy weight. Again, this, let this be a PSA video to anybody that ever wants to buy heavy packs on eBay. Don't always trust what you see. All right, these should be heavies, at least I think. Uh... At least it's for alligator. The Typhlosion, I'm not really sure of. Oh. The problem with with, uh, with Neo Genesis uh, quote unquote heavies is they have two different prints. One print is way lighter, where like the uh, light packs are like 20.4, 20 20.4 grams in that range, and then the heavies start like 20. Point, like eight, which is usually light. And then they have a second batch where 20.8 is light, and then they got 21 plus for heavy. So it's like. It's very tricky. So you you literally like to guarantee that that something is heavy, it has to come from a box break. Do not just go around buying heavy packs for Neo Genesis online because a lot of times you might just get ripped off. Just keep that in mind. I've been, I've been there before. I've been ripped off uh, many times before for Neo Genesis cards. Now the hollow for this is actually in the front. I hate that it's that far in the front, but uh, it is where it is. As long as we know. Let's go put this down. Let's leave this up. Hoping that this is something fire because. This looks beautiful. This looks super beautiful, actually. All right, let's go through the uncommons. Let's see what we got. Energy. We got Professor Elm. Bayleaf. It's good to get starters. Fampy. Cynical. Good to get starters. Shuckle. Double Gust. Ladyba. Meryl. And one more. Just an Onyx. All right. <sighs> Pretty much any hollow is a good hit. I'm going to close my eyes. What is it? <laughs> Oh, it's a light. This is what I mean. This was in the heavy range. This was in the heavy range. This was in the heavy range. All right. Well, that's good to know. I'm going to have to have a talk with that seller. <laughs> no, not really. I mean, again, it's just, it's just something to keep my eye for, for in the future. It's like, all right, well, that seller clearly clearly wasn't 100% sure. Or maybe they didn't know and they just wanted to trick me. I don't know. But this one should. This, one should. this was definitely in the more heavier range. Unless there's another third print of, of Neo Genesis that's even heavier, heavier. So let's see what we get out of this. Again, if we can get one big hollow hit out of this, it makes it 100% worth it. Let me 
can go ahead and crop this out. I think I got this. Maybe this came from... No, no, no. This did not come from loot box. The loot box packs I got was a Meganium art and a uh, Lugia art. So, let's see what we get out of this one. Careful. Why is it stuck? Don't be stuck. Please don't be stuck. There you go. Okay. Again, it's in the front. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that looks... That, that looks way shinier. That That's a hollow. That absolutely has to be a hollow because it looks way shinier. They do they use different stock. Also, I like the the centering. I mean, look at that. It looks beautiful. If this is like a Typhlosion 17, I, I, just, I hit the jackpot. <laughs> jackpot. Okay. Can we end it on a banger? Water Energy, Quagsire, Miracle Berry, Croconaw. Nice. Hoot Hoot, Chincho, Super Rod, Pseudo Wood. How about a Frog Eater? Not Frog Eater. Uh, Tordal. No, no Tordal. Last pack. I'm gonna close my eyes. You guys can see it first. Ah, it's a Zoomeril. Okay, I'm tired of pulling this. Actually, you know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This. Oh no, there's the infamous Neo Genesis print lines, right in the corner, right up there, right up there. You see that? Right by the, right over here by the, uh, by the ears. Oh um, man, this could have been a Feraligatr five. It could have been a Feraligatr five. Uh, look at that nice swirl. You know what? This is gonna be a solid nine. I mean. There's an off chance it could be a 10, but I might actually send this to Beckett and try to get the 9.5 grade because that's way better than just getting the 9. What an opening. I think this is definitely a success. All right. In, in the heat of the moment, I decided we'll do one more. <laughs> I have a whole heavy art set, and I had an extra Lugia and an extra Fraligator, and this is one of the heaviest packs that I own for Neo Genesis. So it 100% should be a hollow, I hope. Let's add another one more. Why not? I think this came from ZNG, I want to say. No, no, it didn't. Because uh, the ZNG packs were oh, from the lighter print box. I think I just got this from, from eBay, actually. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. We are gone past the point of no return. Let's end it on one last... If I can open it without damaging the actual cards. Let's end it on one last good pull. And hopefully the print is fine as well. Here we go. Let's get this in the front. Oh. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Please be actually a hit. Please be a hit. Oh. PSA 6. <laughs> Please be a hit. Please let this be a big hit because that looks just gorgeous from the back. I feel like it's reflecting off of the uh, Azumarill and you guys are going to be able to see it in the camera uh, in the actual video. But yeah. All right. Right off the bat, I like the sign. We're getting fire energy. You know how YouTubers always say, this is that a sign? Lady Anne, Zatu, Chikorita, that's nice, Hoot Hoot, Chincho, Super Odd, Pseudo Wudo, and Hop Pip. One last pull. Super heavy. What we got? Meganium! Oh my god! Is that the good one? That's the good one! Yo! How do you look? How do you look? That's. Yo! That looks gorgeous! I don't see print lines on it. This is my favorite of the two. Just because I like how, how derpy and happy Meganium is in this. That That's a win. We're going to end it on that. We are going to end. What a video, man. I hope you guys really enjoyed that one because this was a lot of fun for me to open. But kind of hurt as a collector. But I think it was worth it with some of the hits that we got. Wow. Anyway, stay tuned for more. Maybe I'll hop into my, my personal sealed heavy collection at some point. Maybe it's 100,000 special or something. We'll do it again at some point. But for now... Those will stay sealed in, in, in that corner for now. I'm happy. What a video. Man. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.